ಹರಿ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಪ್ರಜನರಂಜನ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಪ್ರಜನರಂಜನ ಯಮುನತೀರವನಚಾರಿ ಜಯೋ ರಾಧಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಜಯೋ ರಾಧ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ ರಾಧ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯೋ ರಾಧ ರಸ್ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ರಾಧ ರಸ್ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯೋ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯೋ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು 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 ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರು 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 ದೇವ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರು ದೇವ್ ನಿತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ನಿತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಬೋಲೋ ಹರಿ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಪ್ರೇಮನಂದ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ so i welcome you all for today's uh, evening uh, bhagavad gita class and uh, today we will be talking about uh, chapter bhagavad gita chapter uh, 13 chapter 6 verse number 13 and 14 and um, these verses are very uh, very difficult uh, difficult verses and uh, i beg forgiveness uh, if i commit any mistake and uh, i request everyone uh, to pray uh, for me as um, and uh, so that i can uh, follow uh, sincerely in my spiritual path thank you so chapter uh, chapter 6 is about dhyana yoga and we are uh, on the verse number 13 and 14 chapter 6 so we will read uh, read these two verse samam kayo shri yogrevam samam ka oh sorry please go ahead please go ahead samam kayo shri yogrevam ಧಾರಯಾಚಲ ಶಿರಾಚಲ ಶಿರಾಕ್ಷಿಕಾಗ್ರ ಸ್ವಾಂಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಾಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚಾನವಲೋಕಯ ದಿಶ್ಚಾನವಲೋಕಯ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನಾತ್ಮಿಗತ್ಮಿಗತ್ಮಚಾರೀ ವ್ರತೆ ಸ್ಥಿತ 
Brahmachare Vratestita Manasam Yamya Machetto Manasam Yamya Machetto Yukta Sita Matpara Yukta Sita Matpara Samam Karyuk Samam Kayo Shri Yogrivam Samam Kaya Shiro Grivam Darayana Chalam Stira Darayana Chalam Stira Samprekshana Shika Gram Swam Samprekshana Shika Gram Swam Dishashana Valokayan Dishashana Valokayan Prasannatma Vigata Bhir Prasannatma Vigata Bhir Brahmachari Vratestita Brahmachari Vratestita Manasamyamya Machetto Manasamyamya Machetto Yukta Sita Matpara Yukta Asita Matpara Samam Kayo Shriyo Grivam Samam Kaya Shiro Grivam Darayana Chalam Stira Darayama Chalam Stira Samprekshana Shika Gram Swam Samprekshana Shika Gram Swam Dishascha Chan Balokayan Balokayan Prasannatma Vigata Bhir Prasannatma Vigata Bhir Brahmachari Vratestita Brahmachari Vratestita Manasamyamya Machetto Manasamyamya Machetto Yukta Sita Matpara Yukta Asita Matpara Okay Anyone would like to read uh, this verse? Okay. These two verses? Samyam Kaya Shiro Grivam Samam Kayo Shiro Grivam Darayana Chalam Stira Darayana Chalam Stira Samprekshana Shika Gram Swam Samprekshana Shika Gram Swam Disha Shana Valokayan. Disha Shana Valokayan. Brahmachari Vratestita. Brahmachari Vratestita. Manasamyam Yamachito. Manasamyam Yamachito. Yukta Asita Matpara Yukta Asita Matpara Anybody else would like to read this? Samam Kaya Shiro Grivam Samam Kaya Shiro Grivam Dharayana Chalam Stiraha Darayana Chalam Stira Hare Krishna Chaitanya, am I audible? Yes, Prabhu. I think it's some prekshana shikagram swam. Some prekshana shikagram swam. This is Chanava Lokayan. This is Chanava Lokayan. Prashantatma Vigata Bhir. Prashantatma Vigata Bhir. Brahmachari Vratestitaha. Brahmachari Vratestita. Manasamyam Yamachito. Manasamyam Yamachito. Yukta Asita Matparaha. Yukta Asita Matpara. Thank you very much, Mataji. Anybody Thank else you. would like to read? Okay. So we will read the meaning. 
समम स्ट्रेट काया बॉडी सिरा शिरा हेड ग्रीवम एंड नेक धारायन होल्डिंग आचलम अनमूविंग स्थिर स्टिल संप्रेक्ष लुकिंग नासिका ऑफ द नोज आग्रम एट द टिप स्वाम ओन दिशा दिशा ऑन द ऑल साइड्स च ऑल्सो अन्वलोकयान नॉट लुकिंग प्रसन्नात्मक प्रसन्न प्रशांत अनएजिटेटेड आत्मा माइंड विगत भी डिवाइड ऑफ फियर ब्रह्मचारी व्रते इन द वाव ऑफ सेलिबसी स्थित सिचुएटेड मन माइंड संयम्य कंप्लीटली सब्ड्यूइंग मत अपॉन मी कृष्ण चित्त कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग द माइंड युक्त द एक्चुअल योगी असित शुड सिट मत मी पर द अल्टीमेट गोल वन शुड होल्ड वन शुड होल्ड वंस बॉडी नेक एंड हेड इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड स्टेयर स्टेडिली एट द टिप ऑफ द नोज दस विद द विथ एन अनएजिटेटेड सब्ड्यूड माइंड डिवाइड ऑफ फियर completely free from sex life one should meditate upon me within the heart and make me the ultimate goal of life translation and purport by his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shri prabhupad shri prabhupad ki jai the goal of life is to know krishna who is situated within the heart of every living being as parmatma the four handed vishnu form the yoga process is practiced in order to discover and see this localized form of vishnu and not for any any other purpose the localized vishnu murti is the plenary representation of krishna dwelling within one's heart one who has no program to realize this vishnu murti is uselessly engaged in mock yoga practice and is certainly wasting his time krishna is the ultimate goal of life and the vishnu murti is situated within and the vishnu murti is situated in one's heart is the object of yoga practice to realize this vishnu murti within the heart one has to observe complete abstinence from sex life therefore one has to leave home and live alone in the secluded place remaining seated as mentioned above one cannot enjoy sex life daily uh, at home or elsewhere and attain the so called yoga class and thus become a yogi one has to practice controlling the mind the mind and avoid all kinds of sense gratification of which sex life is the chief in the rules of celibacy written by great sage yagnavalkya it is said karma na manasa vacha sarva vastasu sarvada sarvatra maithuna tyago brahmacharyam pra prachakshate the vow of brahmacharya is meant to help uh, one completely abstain from sex indulgence in work words and mind at all times under all circumstances and in all places no one can perform correct yoga practice through sex and indulgence brahmacharya is taught therefore from the childhood when one has no knowledge of sex life children at the age of 5 are sent to gurukula gurukula or the place of spiritual master and the master trains the young boys in the strict discipline of becoming 
brahmacharis without such practice no one can make advancement uh, in any yoga whether dhyana gyana or bhakti one who however follows one who however follows the rules and regulations of married life having a sexual relationship only with his wife and that also under regulation is also called a brahmachari such a restrained householder brahmachari may be accepted in the bhakti school but the gyana and dhyana school do not even admit householder brahmacharis they require complete abstinence without compromise in the bhakti school a householder brahmachari is allowed controlled sex life because or uh, the cult of bhakti yoga is so powerful that one automatically loses sexual attraction being engaged in the superior service of the lord in bhagavad gita 2.59 it is said vishaya vinivartante niha nirahas niha niraharasya dehina rasa varjam raso ियर other than uh, other than the d no one has any information of that superior test vigata b one cannot be fearless unless one is fully fully in krishna consciousness a conditioned soul is fearful due to his perverted uh, memory his forgetfulness of his eternal relationship with krishna the bhagavatam 11.23 स्मृत कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस इज द ओनली बेसिस फॉर फियरलेसनेस देर फॉर परफेक्ट प्रैक्टिस इज पॉसिबल फॉर अ पर्सन who is in krishna consciousness and since the ultimate goal of yoga yoga practice is to see the lord within the krishna consciousness person is already the best of all yogis the principle of yoga system mentioned here in are different from different from those of of the popular so called yoga society shila prabhupad ki jai so this verse um, uh this verse uh, gives lot of emphasis as this whole chapter uh, uh we are talking about you know uh, dhyana yoga so it has eight limbs of uh, uh dhyana yoga yama niyama asana pranayama uh, pratyahara dharana dhyana and final stage is samadhi whereas right now the verse uh, Uh, that we are talking about it is it is uh, giving it is talking about uh, brahmacharya and uh, also it is uh, it, it talks about uh, keeping your body stay straight uh, basically pranayama uh, and focusing on the nose and then uh, focusing on the on the paramatma feature which is residing in the heart of of one of a living entity so we should focus and then understand uh, understand uh, 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 understand and try to see uh, the lord so uh, lord will reveal uh, himself uh, to us if one practice the strict yoga ladder so we have uh, bhakti school as well as we have uh, we have dhyana or hatha yoga system um, right now uh, for both uh, there are many verses uh, of which uh, uh, where we will be seeing uh, which reference which uh, emphasizes on brahmachari ashram first of all we will see what is brahmachari ashram uh, 
so there are basically varanashrama dharma uh, it has uh, it has four ashram brahmacharya uh, grahastha vanaprastha and sanyasa so these are the four stages whether one become grahastha or sanyasa the uh, brahmacharya ashram is very important uh, ashram brahmacharya ashram is very important ashram because the so called uh, material schools that we are in the modern schools that we are in uh, or you know many kids will be uh, will be going through uh, this knowledge uh, this knowledge is not uh, taught so that's why uh, uh, that's why we see many people though they are uh, uh though they are well situated in their life you know academically or uh, or materially or wealth wise or whatever fame whatever say but because they have not done this uh, uh not done this training they don't know how to handle the the situation and uh, and there are many verses uh, many verses uh, many verses for mercy which uh, emphasize which uh, talks about brahmacharya ashram and why it is so important it is important for both for both uh, grahastha as well as uh, as well as uh, vanaprastha sanyasa the attached and detached so first uh, first uh, example that i would like to give here is about uh, about uh, the krishna sorry about the uh, four kumaras so when brahma ji when brahma ji uh, gave order to four kumaras that you know uh, uh, populate this hope uh, populate this whole world with uh, 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 with you know populate the whole world so at that time they didn't uh, they didn't agree to that uh, to that uh, order of brahma he instead they chose a uh, brahmacharya ash brahmacharya and uh, and then meditated on lord uh, uh, lord and then you know uh, you know they attend so one moment i had one verse one moment please hmm so verse number uh, shrimad bhagavatam 3.12.5 tan bhava se svabhuputran jata srajata putraka anna chin moksha dharmano va deva parayana brahma to his sons after generating them my dear son he now generate progeny but due to their due to their being attached to vasudeva the supreme personality of god had they aimed at liberation therefore they expressed their unwillingness so here here this one uh, uh, one small paragraph i would like to anyone who has completely given up all worldly all worldly relationship and has taken absolute or the at the lotus feet of lord who gives us who gives us salvation and who alone is fit to be taken shelter of is no longer a debtor or servant of anyone including the demigods forefathers sages or living entities relatives members of the human society thus there is nothing wrong in this act of kumaras when they refused the great father uh, request uh, they that they became family man they become family man so here we see the, that that you know brahma ji's request was not uh, i mean uh, because four kumaras were so attached to lord vasudeva that uh, um, that you know 
they were so serious that you know they didn't go in this uh, uh, in uh, in you know the life they didn't enter so those who are those who are serious about gaining release from material bondage should not be entangled in the false relationship of the family bondage people may also people may also ask how kumaras could refuse the order but uh, but this is again you know like uh, when one is attached to lord uh, lord vasudev or uh, lord krishna so when one is attached to the higher taste certainly the lower modes uh, will get detached uh, but you know we will talk uh, one by one uh, first uh, we are talking about the brahmacharya ashram and its importance and i think uh, i think it's very important uh, it's important uh, in this uh, age to uh, to have a proper training or proper understand of this so that when kids grow up uh, uh, kids grow up then they can choose you know whether they want to go in uh, uh, brahmacharya from whether they want to choose uh, grahastha ashram or or uh, vanaprastha or sanyas you know that way they have that liberty to choose but in both the stages it is very important for them to know uh, what brahmacharya ashram is and how important it is here we see the example of four kumar four kumaras they are setting the right they are setting the examples that that because they were so attached to vasudeva that they they gave up uh, they gave up of becoming uh, you know of indulging into the sex life and uh, nowadays also we see uh, you know like uh, it is so much hyped and so much uh, uh, so much i mean every uh, in like generation or the next generation of kids who are coming up so they will be more trouble uh, more trouble because of uh, the uh, liberty that uh, that you know or like the technological access that people are having so if they are not in a proper controlled way uh then you know it is very difficult to manage uh, uh this energy energy and utilize and utilize it in a proper uh, proper way uh so this is one example that i would like to give and then another example is of ajamela so ajamela was a power was was the most was very pious uh, brahmana in his uh, initial stage and uh, uh, and he was doing his uh, born in a in a good brahmin family and doing all this uh, all the right uh, righteous thing um, you know as per a vedic system that was uh, that was there so he was doing all this thing but just just glance uh, to a, a on a woman uh, who was uh, uh, who was inappropriately wearing uh, her clothes uh, so just looking at the glance he got so corrupt uh, his mind got so uh, agitated uh, that you know he went away from his uh, from his nice pious life and uh, married uh, uh, married this uh, prostitute and stay started staying with that woman uh, uh women and then you know uh even like uh, like at the at the fag end of li- his life still he was uh, re- he was you know uh begetting children so he was so much attached and he and uh, we see the uh, we see how you know he named his son narayana and then uh, and then uh, he got saved by vishnu dutas but again here in this reference also we see uh, because ajamela was not able to control his uh, agitation because he was not able to utilize this energy in a in an appropriate way so he 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 fell down from his spiritual path and he became he went on to become a thief and you know uh, and did all the bad karmas uh, uh, karmas that was not he, that he was not supposed to do uh so here also we see that uh, that ajamila uh, ajamila lost his uh, uh lo- i mean he couldn't able to control his agitation just uh, just one glance uh, uh, on the prostitute so uh, 
we can see how powerful this energy is uh even like many many sages uh, uh sages uh, who have fallen down from their spiritual life uh, uh, just because of uh, uh because of this uh, agitation of mind uh, so uh, so this is one aspect uh, of uh, why it is very important and uh, why it is very important to control the mind uh mind and put this energy into a right direction so unless and until uh, people are trained to utilize this energy properly uh, they will be in trouble uh in future life we see many cases you know like suicides and all those things are happening because of uh, of uncontrolled uh, uncontrolled mind got addicted to uh, to some things you know like whether it is uh, drug or uh, sex life because of that uh, it becomes very difficult even for as well so we see here uh, in these two examples uh, uh, examples uh, uh, four kumaras we saw that you know because they were attached to lord vishnu they gave up the sex life and uh, in ajas case he was a brahman and following proper rituals and and uh, was you know proper etiquette still he 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 fell down from his spiritual uh, spiritual path so that much powerful uh, uh, this um, this uh, desire is so krishna krishna sorry anybody would like to add anything in this uh, to then we will uh, proceed with you know further verses okay so shrimad bhagavatam 1.9.26 here also purusha swabhava vihitan yatha varnan yatha shranam shratam yatha smasramam yatha smaram vairagya ragupadhibhyam क्वालिफिकेशन described in counteraction by detachment and interaction of by attachment so here here brahm here uh, uh, here bhishma dev uh, bhishma dev is talking about uh, varnashrama dharma and how this last paragraph i would like to read and especially uh, especially you know this last two lines uh, this also talks about in how brahmacharya life is meant so varna varnas are so to speak classification of different occupation the ashrama dharma is a gradual progress on the path of self realization both are interrelated and one is dependent on another the main person the main purpose of ashrama dharma is to awaken the knowledge and detachment the brahmacharya ashram is the training ground for the prospective candidate in this ashrama it is instructed the material world is not actually the home of the living being the conditioned soul under material bondage are prisoners of prisoners of matter and therefore self realized is the self realization is the ultimate aim of the life the whole system of ashrama dharma is a means to detachment one who fails to assimilate the spirit of detachment is allowed to enter into family life with the same spirit of detachment 
Therefore, one who attains a, a detachment may at once adopt the fourth order, namely renounced, and thus live on the charity, not to accumulate wealth, but just to keep the body and soul together for ultimate realization. Household life is one who is attached and vanaprastha and sannyasa order of life are those for who are detached from material life. So, uh, and uh, the brahmachari ashram, again, the brahmachari ashram is meant specially, uh, the brahmachari ashram is specially meant for training both attached and detached. Whether a person may be a sannyasi or a person may, be, may want to become a vanaprastha or a grastha, brahmachari ashram is very important. Uh, important, uh, important ashram, and uh, to have a proper knowledge uh, on this uh, on this subject matter, people may you know approach for proper uh, proper bona fide uh, bona fide gurus from him. They can take shelter, and then you know inquire and learn about this uh, this uh, important aspect of life. So I am reading a few of the verses uh, which are uh, dire which are directly or indirectly related to Brahmacharya Ashram, and then uh, we will conclude. Krihat pravrjito dhira punya tirtha jalaplutha sucho vikita sino viki vivikta sino. One should leave home and practice self-control. In the sacred place, he should bathe regularly and sit down in lonely place, duly sanctified. So here, in this, uh, in this, uh, also Srila Prabhupada is uh, uh, talking about for a man, for a man desiring to improve the condition of his existence, sex indulgence is condition is considered suicidal or even worse. Therefore, to live apart from family life means to become self-controlled. In this regard all to all sense desire, especially sex desire. This method, the method is that one should have a duly sanctified sitting place made of straw, deer skin and carpet and, and carpet and thus sitting in one, sitting on it, one should chant the holy name of the Lord without offense as prescribed above. The whole process is to drag the mind from material engagement and fix it to the lotus feet of the Lord. This simple process alone will help one to advance the highest stage of spiritual success. So here also we see that, uh, that for, a, for a man desiring to improve the condition of his existence, that is, you know, if a person wants to improve uh, the spiritual uh, spirit, his spiritual uh, upliftment. He wants to. Uh, his uh, he wants to, uh, you know, progress uh, uh, progress in spiritual life. Then he should uh, uh, he should uh, he should consider sex indulgence as a suicidal or even worse. So this is again uh, you know from the Srimad Bhagavatam two dot one dot sixteen. So here um, uh, we have seen the importance uh, of uh, Brahmacharya Ashram. So some things, uh, uh, you know, uh, like we all we saw the example of uh, of uh, uh, four Kumaras. We saw you know Ajamila's story, and uh, also 
the brahmachari ashram just doesn't mean that one should just uh, uh, just you know follow uh, different uh, different yoga poses or uh, just uh, follow this yama niyama or uh, refrain from this uh, uh, sex life just that alone won't help uh you know just that alone won't help uh, unless and until one is uh, uh, one is dedicated uh, uh, in his he is connected with krishna uh, he surrender he surrenders himself to lord hari unless and until uh, that happens uh, the all this uh, uh, all these things is just like uh, you know performing different ex- uh, yoga poses or uh, performing you know like complicated uh, asanas also is just like a circus but uh, but if one is able to connect uh, connect through that uh, asan or through that uh, position uh, to lord krishna and he is able to surrender himself then only that life his life will be perfected but we are seeing the importance of brahmachari ashram as we see as we have seen the, in this previous verse uh, shrimad bhagavatam uh, 1.9.26 in this verse uh, it is mentioned that uh, shila prabhupad mentions in his purport uh, purport that uh, it is important for both the ashramas it is not that uh, it is not that only attached uh, uh, attached uh, people that is uh, grahastha it is uh, brahmachari ashram is only for grahastha or only for uh, sanyas ashram it is not like that it is for the both uh, the people both the people who are following whichever ashram so the lord magnanimous pastime and glowing glancing of a smiling face are all indication of his extensive benediction one must therefore concentrate on his transcendental form as long as mind can be fixed on him by meditation so yoga uh, those who are practicing yoga for them for them uh, for them it is uh, it is very uh, like if they are practicing uh, yoga properly so they can sit at one place and they can keep, they can keep their mind stable and they can focus their mind and when in that sitting position uh, when one concentrates uh, him concentrate his mind uh, uh, on the lord uh, hari when he is chant he or she is chanting then you know that yoga through yoga they are connecting uh, to lord hari otherwise just performing different position uh, will just give them some satisfaction in their heart but you know it won't be uh, the ultimate uh, thing and here also here also shila prabhupad uh, in his uh, in his purport he talks about uh, uh, he talks about uh, so purification means getting free gradually from sex desire and this is attained by meditation on the person of the lord as described herein beginning from his feet one should not try to go upwards artificially without seeing himself how much how much he has been re- realized from sex uh, desire the smiling face of the lord is the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam and there are many upstarts who at once try to begin uh, begin with i mean this is another thing that uh, i mean i don't want to this is not directly connected with uh, uh, with uh, the with our topic our today's topic but just uh, i wanted to emphasize that many Uh, in at many places shila prabhupad uh, prabhupad has given uh, uh, the given uh, given these references that one should refrain uh, themselves from the sex life uh, and uh, and uh, it's not just uh, giving up the sex life but uh, but focusing uh, if they are into grahastha ashram then also uh, then also uh it should be done in a very uh uh very uh, uh uh i mean just for pro progenating uh, for procreating the children for begetting you know krishna consciousness children so once uh once you know 
uh, at the right age uh, when people start understanding how to utilize uh, this energy then you know their life uh, once life will be more will be perfected and uh, and certainly uh, certainly they won't fall into a situation wherein uh, wherein you know like we have seen many people uh, because of this uh, sex life or you know uh, or any other type of addiction uh, which uh, impacts uh, uh, the human uh, mind and you know degrades uh, degrades them so much that they consider themselves to be worthless uh, and uh, they commit suicide so it is very important uh, important uh, uh, aspect to learn and to understand and implement in our life also so So again, there is one more verse, three dot fourteen dot sixteen. When uh, when a man or a woman is afflicted by the lust of sex desire, it is to be understood as sinful contamination. Kashyapa was engaged in the spiritual activities, but he did not have sufficient strength to refuse his wife. So this is again, uh, you know, one incident uh, in Shrimad Bhagavatam, uh, where uh, uh, where Kashyap Muni was uh, was uh, was attached was you know was attached uh, and uh, and you know uh, indulged uh, in uh, the sex uh, sexual activity at the wrong time. So he got he begot uh, the he begot demonic. Okay, demonic child. So this is again one uh, uh, one important thing uh, that to understand. Three dot fourteen dot sixteen, and just I'll just quickly summarize it, and then uh, we will be open. Uh, we will, you know, if there is uh, anything anyone else would like to add, I am not qualified to speak on this uh, on this uh, topic, uh, but uh, as a service, I am trying to speak. Uh, and if there are any any other thing someone would like to add uh, and enlighten all of us. And if I've committed any mistake, please correct me. So let's quickly summarize on what we spoke. So there are two verses. We talked about uh, 16, uh, chapter 6, 13 and 14 verse. Samam kayo shriyo grivam and then prashannatma vigata bhir. So here in this uh, verse, uh, we, we, I mean, it talks about uh, sitting in one position and then uh, uh, in a, and focusing their mind on the Lord. So, and then Brahmacharya Ashram also, also, also uh, mentioned in this uh, verse. We first talked about how important is Brahmacharya Ashram. So we took two examples. Uh, one is about four Kumaras, who who they refused uh, uh, refused the order of uh, Brahma uh, for procreating because they were so attached to Lord uh, uh, Lord uh, Vishnu, uh, Lord Vasudeva. So that is one example we saw, and we saw the another example of Ajamila, where uh, where um, we saw that because uh, just a glance, uh, glance on an inappropriately dressed woman uh, agitated his mind, and he gave up all his uh, uh, pious uh, activities, uh, Brahminical life, and became uh, became a thief and did all the bad things, uh, uh, bad things which which a person is not supposed to do. So it means that uh, if we are addicted, if we get attached too much to the sex life uh, and we don't know the right uh, uh, right path then you know our we will be our spiritual life will be jeopardized so that is for sure so that is one example we saw and then we saw a few more verses uh, wherein uh, Maharaj Yudhishthar's conversation with Bhishma Dev, where uh, Bhishma Dev spoke about uh, Varanashrama Dharma and uh, how Brahmachari Ashram, Brahmachari Ashram is uh, 
is important for both attached and detached. Here attached means uh, grahastha and detached means vanaprastha and sanyasa. So this is the verse 1.9.26. 1 and then uh, and then we saw uh, you know like importance of uh, importance of uh, importance of uh, uh, for a man desiring to uplift if one if a person wants to uplift uh, himself spiritually then sex indulgence is considered as suicidal suicidal uh, suicidal so that is uh, for, uh, that is mentioned in the purport of shrimad bhagavatam 2.1.16 and then 2.2.12 uh, 2.2.12 uh, 2 .2 here also uh, it is mentioned that uh, um, one gets free from intoxic uh, so purification means uh, getting free gradually from sex desire and uh, this is attained by meditation on the person of the lord of the Lord described herein. That is Lord Vishnu when one, Lord Krishna or Vishnu when one, one focuses, then a person will become uh, purified and uh, purified, gradually purified from the sex desire. So, so here, uh, uh, here we can see if a person is too much attached, uh, then if he wants to uh, gradually progress in uh, spiritual life then you know he can continue worshipping uh, meditating on the form of lord and then slowly slowly his progress uh, his attachment towards sex desire will diminish and then uh, then one last verse we saw uh, that you know again uh, uh, when move men or women afflicted by sex desire it is to be understood as a sinful contamination so and uh, bhakti tradition uh, bhakti tradition uh, is above all here uh, here also uh, brahmachari ashram is recommended uh, but only thing is uh, uh, you know like you can still live as a grahastha and uh, and beget uh, krishna consciousness children so one uh, one you know one positive thing i heard it from uh, one of my uh, in one of the lecture. So he was telling that, uh, that you know, in Grahastha life, uh, if we have children's wife, so, uh, so in Brahmachari Ashram, you have only two hands, but in Grahastha life, uh, you can have, you know, uh, six hands, uh, you, you, your wife, your kids, you know, all of them, when they start serving that life, uh, you know, even the grass, the life uh, will also be perfected, uh, uh, perfected. So it is not that, uh, uh, not that one cannot, uh, one cannot progress. One can certainly progress in any stage of his life, but uh, only thing is uh, he should make sure that uh, that he is uh, following the regulative uh, principle. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, it is a matter of uh, within you know few moments, a uh, person can fall down. So thank you very much, and I don't have any qualification to talk uh, on this topic, but as a service, I have spoken and forgive me for any offenses any questions or uh, anyone would like to add anything Brandon, to any questions okay so so thank you very much uh, we can end here then vanchakalpatrubhyas chakrapa sindubhya evacha patida nam pavane bhyo vaishnavi bhyo namo namo thank you very much ananda koti vaishnavandaki jai shubhavad ki jai sundar gopinath prabhu ki jai Chaitanya Prabhu ki jai. <laughs>